Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Christian here. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel for updates on recipes and other dinner ideas. Tonight, I want to wish everybody a happy St. Patrick's Day. Our recipe for tonight is going to be corned beef with cabbage with a side of potatoes. Let's get started. But first, let's take a toast and have a beer. Mmm. Oh, and I do not want to forget a shot of Irish cream. Mmm. For the corned beef, you're going to need corned beef. You're also going to need some sweet hot mustard. Here we go. Some cloves, brown sugar, and a pot of boiling water. For the cabbage, you're going to need the cabbage, onions, garlic, some olive oil, some bacon or bacon bits, and then potatoes to serve on the side. Let's get started, shall we? So the reason why you need a pot of boiling water is to deep brine the corned beef. Take it out of the package, put it in the boiling water, let it boil for about five minutes, strain it, put fresh water in, and then bring it back to a boil, then strain it again, then you're ready to start uh, cooking. I think this is a great time to take a sip of your beer. Mmm, oops, and I almost forgot. Take a shot of that Irish cream. Mmm. So once the water is brought to a boil, you want to place the corned beef fat side up. Here we go. Voila, set the timer for five minutes. And then you're going to want to take another sip of beer. So, while that is boiling for the next five minutes, you can take your time to enjoy your beer. Mmm! The goal of boiling the water and putting the corned beef in it is to reduce the salt that it's been sitting in. So if you feel like you need to lower the sodium content, you can do it three times. Alright, after that you might lose too much flavor. But in the meantime, let's take another sip of that beer. Mmm! So while the corned beef is boiling and debrining, you want to preheat the oven to 350. Full disclaimer, this dish takes about two hours to bake in the oven. All right, so let me show you the next steps. So the next step involves you taking the corned beef out of the boiling water, put it on a foil pan, make sure you have enough foil to wrap the corned beef, all right? And then you want to put about nine, maybe 10 pieces of cloves evenly spread out on the corned beef then put that hot spicy mustard on it, and then three quarters of that brown sugar that I mentioned previously. Let me show you how this works. But first, it's time to take another sip of that beer. Mmm. Now you're going to put the mustard on. Right. I'm going to wrap it. And try to make it as airtight as possible. Pop it right in the oven. Then you bake it for about two hours. Now remember, about 40 minutes before the timer ends, you want to throw your potatoes in there. So that gives it enough time to bake and fully cook. So while that bakes for about two hours, this is a great time for you to enjoy the rest of your beer. Mmm. And of course, don't forget to take your shots of Irish cream. So once your timer hits about 45 minutes left um, till the cooking is done or the baking is done, you want to take a sip of your beer, mmm, and then take a shot of that. Double mmm. At this point, you also want to start prepping the cabbage. So you'll 
chop up your cabbage into small uh, square sized pieces, dice up the onions, crush the garlic cloves, and then get the butter and olive oil in a heated cast iron pan. You can use a non-stick pan also. Let's get started. This is where you want to heat up the pan and put the butter and olive oil. I use about a third of a stick of butter and then four to six tablespoons of the uh, olive oil. You want to make sure you put the cabbage in first, otherwise the onions and garlic are going to burn too quickly. So while that cooks up, Let's take a toast and take another sip of your beer. As you can tell, I ran out of the other one, and I'm not taking any more shots because I'm getting a little messed up. So let's get back to the cabbage cooking, shall we? So at this point, the cabbage should be ready to be flipped. All right. You should see a nice browning or caramelizing of the cabbage. At this point, you also want to start adding your onions. Right? What's really important is you make sure you have a large enough pan. Apparently, mine isn't large enough. Alright, and then let that cook for another five minutes. So, while that's cooking, it's time to take another sip of that beer. Hmm. Corn beef should be ready to come uh, to be pulled out of the oven. You also want to make sure that you put the oven on broil. Time. Alright. And then add some more of this mustard. You'll also notice that the potatoes are right here. As I mentioned before, you throw that in. Alright. Gloves on. Into the broiler it goes. It'll take about three minutes before it's completely ready. In the meantime, your cabbage should also be ready to go. Stir. And that's what it should look like. If you want a little bit more flavor, you can add a little bit of apple cider vinegar. That's something I prefer. Some people use hot sauce. Be sure to use salt and pepper to taste. That's easy, wasn't it? Up next, we're gonna take another sip of that beer and I'm gonna show you how to plate it. Oh, welcome back. We're gonna take another sip of that beer before we start carving and serving. Mmm. Now, the corned beef should be about ready. Don't forget to check it often to make sure that the sugar is caramelizing. What you wanna make sure you do before you carve it is to check which way the grain runs. So you'll see it's going this way, you want to cut against it this way. I forgot to mention that you should let the corned beef sit for a couple minutes before you carve it. This allows it to absorb the juices and the flavors inside, and it allows you to let the meat, well, it allows the meat to get cool, so it's easier to manage. In the meantime, it's time to take a sip. Mmm! Now that it's rested, we can start carving. Nice thick pieces will do. And this is how you make corned beef with cabbage. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe that I did tonight. I want to wish everybody a happy St. Patrick's Day and hope you enjoy the dish. Here's the toast. Cheers. 
Mm. And don't forget that shot. <laughs> <laughs>